right, um, I'm going to tell you all, just so that y'all aren't left hanging, um, that uh, things kind of came to a head between me and the man whom I was in correspondence with, whom I I uh, suspected of being um, a handler of some kind. Um, when he became aware that that's what I thought of him, uh, he became offended or at least affected offense. I don't know. <laughs> and I want to I want to make it absolutely clear that I don't know whether this guy was a handler or not. I just had a sense of things. My my spidey senses were tingling. Um, and w when you're someone in my position, it's kind of an odd position to be in, kind of paradoxical, because on the one hand, I'm not really, I'm not known at all. I'm not a known quantity whatsoever. But on, but on the other hand, I know that I am visible to, uh, to the powers that shouldn't be. Um, and I, I say that without any kind of grandiosity or, or like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm really, you know, they're, they're really worried about me. I'm, I'm just, I'm striking a blow here and they're, uh, they're all concerned about me. No, I, I know that I'm, <laughs> I'm very small, small fry, but I think I am still conspicuous enough to be on their screen, on their radar screen. And, you know, they've got a lot of, uh, um, resources at their disposal. So it's not me just being completely weirdly paranoid uh, to think that somebody out there might be trying to handle me or trying to steer me in a particular direction. And this this particular person, <clears throat> although, you know, we had an amiable kind of uh, correspondence for the most part, uh, I just, I, I became aware of certain things that, that, uh, that troubled me or that, that again, the, the, the fact that he kept hitting these particular points over and over and over again, um, uh, had, uh, you know, uh, finally just, just made me think, uh, you know, I, 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 this guy could well be, uh, a, uh, what I called a handler, um, could well be someone who was sent, uh, you know, doesn't mean he's a bad guy necessarily, uh, nothing personal here. It's just, uh, that's, uh, uh you know, sort of, uh, it was, it, it was something that, that to me made sense. Uh, and now if you think, if you think that I'm just crazy and over the top and, uh, paranoid, I, I mean, I, I don't know what to say to that. If you, you know, you're entitled to your opinion, but, uh, I'm not sure that this guy was, was a handler. I just, um, came to suspect that, that, that he was, and, uh, it was a strange position to be in, uh, I'll say for me. Um, now I thought it would be worthwhile, uh, to talk about the sort of things that this, that this particular handler really, uh, if you will, harped on, um, ways in which he seemed, um, interested in shifting my perspective, shifting my, my general, um, uh, way of viewing things. Um, because, well, I, I think it, you'll see in a minute that it, it, it's, uh, it does kind of line up with a particular um, sort of perspective that I think tends to glow. <laughs> okay, but again, I'm not. Uh, I don't mean to cast aspersions, and I'm not. And, and you know, don't try to find out who the guy is. I'm not giving anything away personal. I'm not doxing him. Um, uh, you know, it would have to be way more. Uh, I'd have to be way more sure, and it would have to be something where I was convinced that, that this person was just a, a malignant uh, um, um, sort of uh, individual um, for, for me to resort to doxing. And even then, I'm, I, just, I just don't enjoy I don't. I'm not a doxer. I don't, I don't do that. Um, you know, my enemies do that, but I don't do that because I, I, I think it's low down, and, and I think I'm better than that. Um, so... 
one of the one of the things that he harped on a lot to me was uh, about conspiracies. Um, he he seemed to be very uh, against conspiracies. He seemed to think that 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 conspiracies were generally a you know just 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 stupid and crazy, and that they weren't worth my time, and that I should abandon my uh, my resources or, or abandon my my uh, abandon going down that route. Um, now he said this as someone who seemed like a, a kind of a connoisseur of certain things, um, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, even someone who uh, maybe approved of certain, um, certain conspiracies, but, but for the most part, especially when it came to, to some, comes to something like Pizzagate. You know, he seemed to be who he he refer, he referred to as Q. You know, like the Q people. You know, and if you want to put down Pizzagate uh, thinking, just just refer to them as Q because Q. Uh, you know, the the, the Q people, um, whether whether consciously or not, whether this happened because they wanted it to happen, or I mean, I mean, whether it was all intended to be a false flag or not, but the Q people, I think, uh, embarrassed themselves when Trump didn't expose all of the, all of the perverts. And, and, uh, when, when, uh, you know, we didn't have disclosure, like we thought we were going to under Trump because they were all very like Trump's the man. Trump is the, Trump is the one who's gonna, who's gonna get it done. And, and Trump didn't get it done. So, um, you know, referring to them as Q, Q people, um, is just sort of the, the way you'd go about, uh, talking about them if you wanted to, uh, disparage them. Um, and I've never, never been affiliated with Q, um, never been an advocate of Q. I think some people who, who follow Q are, are good people who, who, uh, have just been misled. Um, uh, that said, I do believe in Pizzagate, Pedogate, whatever, whatever you call it. Um, <clears throat> um, but, but okay. So that's one thing this, this, this guy who I thought was a handler, uh, that was one thing that he harped on was about the stupidity of conspiracies. Um, I mean, and that's, that's like a, like everybody's against conspiracies now. I mean, all all the all of the established authorities are now anti-conspiracy. It's interesting to realize that wasn't always the case. You know, um, the X Files. I, you know, I, I just watched a few episodes of the X Files, and I'm going to talk about that in a in a separate video uh, because you know, seeing it w in retrospect now was was interesting. Uh, you know, the X Files, which were on for most of the '90s. I mean, that, that was all about conspiracies. Granted, there was nothing about, like, uh, you know, Pizzagate type of stuff. But there, there, there was a lot about how, you know, we weren't being told the truth or we were being lied to. And, and uh, you know, the people who pretend to have, have our best interests at heart, the powers that shouldn't be, were, were actually uh, bad people. Um, you know, that, that, that thread ran through the show and agent Mulder was a hero in that show. And he, he was someone who believed these kinds of things, um, believed that believed in conspiracies. He was a conspiracy realist, you know, we would say, um, anyway, that, but, but today X-Files wouldn't get made. I don't think, uh, uh if, it, if it, if it got made today, you know, looking with the same kind of, um, kind of storyline that it had in the nineties, then people would say, Oh, this is just, this is just being made by Trump, uh, by, by, by Trump uh, supporters and, and, uh, you know, or get disparaged. Uh, and there's no way the establishment would let it, let it go. Let, let, let it even happen. Um, which is an interesting thing, but I'm not, I'm not going to spend too much more time talking about that now. Just okay. So one of the things was conspiracy, like the, that, that my, <clears throat> my suspected handler 
talked about a lot was don't don't go down the conspiracy uh, uh, rabbit hole. It's it's silly. It's stupid. There's nothing there. It's just a bunch of crazy people and fanatics and stuff. Okay, so that's one. The second thing that he harped on a lot was was anti manosphere stuff. Um, you know, he was sort of like a a right like a a, a white white nationalist feminist, I would say. Um, in that he he thought. You know, that all of the stuff that was being put out by the Manosphere was just, was just bunk and, and it was silly and stupid and, and, uh, that, you know, they were all just a bunch of incel. He used the word incel, um, as an insult, as an insult <laughs> a lot. And that's something else that people do. People who are ant, that's like, uh, the, the use of the word incel as a slur, uh, uh, to use against anyone who is critical of, uh, women's behavior. Uh, that's, that's, a, that is a red flag. Uh, I would say, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's cheap. It's, it's, it's like a, uh, it's, it's rhetorically cheap. I find to just say, Oh, well, you're just an incel. Uh, you know, the, 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 uh, uh, um, it's, it's, it's very much of a piece with, uh, the, the rhetorical style of, of a lot of people who, a lot of people who aren't, uh, I, I don't think, uh, handlers or, or, you know, in any way affiliated with intelligence agencies, but it's just this, this sort of, uh, uh, oh, well, you, you know, you, you think this is how you think that there's a crisis, uh, you know, in, Modernity, you think that there's there's too much hypergamy uh, amongst modern women. Well, that's you're just an incel. Uh, you're just a bitter incel. Um, you know, so this is something. This was something that he also pushed a lot. Uh, it was like this was specifically about white women. You know, we've got to stand up for white women. Uh, you know, white women are the best. <laughs> and look, I'm not a, nothing against white women. Okay, as a group at all. Um, but you know, the, I think that the things that manosphere, I believe the things that, that manospherians bring to light, uh, have some merit. Uh, and you know, this, this, my, my, my handler guy just absolutely was not willing to engage on that at all. And he kept, kept throwing me stuff that kept saying, you know, believe this, believe that, uh, um, you know, be, be, uh, 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 be a supporter of our strong, good white women, you know? So that was the second thing, you know, first thing, anti-conspiracy, second thing, anti-manosphere. Um, and finally this was more muted, but the third thing that, that he would talk about, uh, is, just basically globalism, being pro-globalist, uh, not being critical of uh, the glo of globalist efforts, you know. Um, and he sent me something once about how the the you know it's it's like uh, being a pro-NATO NATO uh, you know centrist is really furthering the cause of uh, of white nationalism. And, uh, you know, I, I was just, I didn't have much to say to that. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you say in response to that kind of thing, but these, these all, these are all things that, that, that seem to be of a piece with what I understand, like the, 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 the Richard Spencerian Spencerians, uh, to be believing in the, the, um, 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 the daily show up people who I haven't thought of or listened to in years, but from what I have gathered through the grapevine, these seem to be things that they, that they hit on a lot. You know, they make fun of dorky men, uh, that they, they say, you know, they, 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 they I remember their, their, their shtick, uh, 
chateau artistes where they would make fun of you know guys who are socially uh, unsuccess unsuccessful with women um and they they promoted chad nationalism this is going back years but i i remember that, that like this whole sort of anti uh anti manosphere almost almost feminist uh you know perspective at least when it comes to white women you know we got to we got to praise our strong white queens you know <laughs> um that that whole that whole line see and seems to be of a piece and the being you know contemptuous of conspiracy theories and thinking that conspiracy theories are gay and and retarded and, and that that sort of thing um and of course this whole you know no we we should be in favor of of uh, the globalist efforts and and we should favor we should like the we should get behind the eu and we should get behind nato and we should be all for uh the efforts of of nato and, and the eu in uh in um ukraine i don't think they say the same thing about israel though i think there's there might be a bit of a of a rift there as far as uh you know what uh, you know when, when i heard richard spencer talk recently he was talking about how he, he couldn't support biden again <laughs> why he ever could support him in the first place is be, is beyond me um you know and, unless you know unless he glows which is something I, I very strongly strongly believe uh or, or or strongly suspect i should say i won't say i strongly believe um but uh because i don't know i don't know what do i know um but but that seemed like it seemed like the the god the the, the, the behavior of uh, you know what what biden is doing and uh, what uh, the the whole support of israel through the, the the assault on gaza seems to be opening a rift there but but as far as just uh like being a uh, like encouraging encouraging me to be a pro white nationalist uh like uh feminist who, who looks down on incels and looks down on MGTOW and, and thinks thinks the manosphere is just is just a bunch of shit that needs that that that, that needs to be dismissed out of hand um and also you know thinking that conspiracies are, are gay and dumb um again it's it's possible to have those opinions and not glow i'm i'm not i'm not denying that but when I, when you're someone like me who is known, okay, my name is known, I'm on some lists, you know, and, and I have somebody who's just barraging me with this, this stuff, uh, trying to get me to like, why, why, why not just move on? Why, why, why even engage me at all? If he knows that I'm not those things, if he knows that I'm sympathetic to cons to to the c uh, conspiracies uh if he knows that i'm sympathetic to uh i'm not not uncritically sympathetic but but generally sympathetic to to manosphere and to issues raised by by the manosphere uh, uh types and that i'm completely against globalism why would we why would he even waste time with me um unless he was trying to influence me to change my mind um why would he why why would he devote so much effort uh to this this uh, this this project um you know i just i just don't know and again i'm i i don't know whether he's he was uh a handler or not but i just wanted to point out those are the things if he was a handler uh it's very interesting that that it all you know, coalesces around the the Richard Spencer, the current Richard Spencer kind of perspective on, you know, where we ought to go with white nationalism and where we ought to go with, you know, uh, it, it all it all seems to to uh, uh, I don't know to be of a piece there, and if 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 Richard Spencer glows, you know, and and like. A white nationalist who's, who goes on CNN and talks about tr how Trump supporters are stupid. Like, you're telling me you don't su suspect that a guy like that? Somebody who's been who was allowed to, to keep his Twitter 
page uh, through everything, you know, even even when he was outed as being, you know, the the uh, the the villain behind the alt right, um, the villain behind uh, the Charlottesville debacle, and and so forth. So there you go. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think below. Um, if you have any, uh, if you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, uh, if you think I'm on the right path or not, uh, interested to hear what anybody has to say. Thanks for watching.